Wildlife sanctuaries were established in Kazakhstan with the goal of protecting unique ecosystems, rare animals and birds. The most protected areas in the country include 10 sanctuaries, 11 national parks with 5 wildlife reserves. The Almaty region alone has 5 national parks – Ile Alatau, Charan, Altenemel, Jungar Alatau and the Kolsai Lakes. The ecosystem within the protected areas has not been affected by human activity and therefore is of great scientific interest. What's also important is that these are the best places for tourism. In the second half of the 19th century, many travelers started coming to these lands previously unknown to Europeans. In 1854, the Fort Verne was founded in the foothills of the Transilia Latau. The construction of the Cossack settlement was governed by Major Perimyshelsky, and already in 1867, the town of Verne became the center of the Semerechi region, which in turn became part of Turkestan's governorate. In 1859, the Russian geodesist Golubev marked on the map the settlement Verne, set at the foothills of the mountain range that was later called Transili Alatau. In 1921, the town was renamed from Verne to Almata, because in the ancient times when the Great Silk Road passed through this area, all caravans would stop to enjoy the blossoming apple trees growing in abundance at the foothills. The location of Almaty in the southeast of Kazakhstan is unique. The city is surrounded by mountains, steppes and deserts. This is where the path commences to several national parks and sanctuaries. We're going to set off to the National Park Altenemel, located to the northeast of the Kapchagai Water Reservoir between River Ili and the mountains of Jungara Latau. The path from Almaty to the park's office in the town of Basche is 255 kilometers. First of all, this park is primarily developing ecological and educational tourism. The tour guides take tourists on hikes along the preset tourist routes. The park has a well-developed tourism infrastructure with comfortable hotels, equipped tourist routes and nice roads. This is the only desert park in the country which is located in the Eli River Valley where in the open space you can enjoy different landscapes, mountains, plains, floodplains, riparian woodlands and sands. The National Park has three tourist routes. The first vehicular and walking route from a Basche town to the Stone Stella or Shaktas, the Asiatic poplar growth, and the State Natural Monument to the Singing Dune. The second vehicular and walking route leads to the petroglyphic drawings Tan Balotas and the Saka Burial Mounds Bes Shatur. The third route leads from the Basche town to the Kosbastau Lodge where tourists can see a 700-year-old willow and then further on to the Katutau and Aktau mountains. Usually people come here for photo safari, but a tour around the park on four-wheelers is possible after obtaining a special permit. After four hours on the paved road, we drive by the Alten Yemel Pass, the name of which translates from Kazakh as the Golden Saddle. After the eco post, the first thing we do is get to one of the biggest local landmarks, the Singing Dune. A real savanna can be found between the Jungar and Tenshan mountains. The sun is at the zenith, and the four wheelers moving fast along the country road pick up clouds of dust. If you stay here overnight, you would be able to see the hoofed desert animals, the Kulans and the Persian gazelles. But the four wheeler tour participants have a different purpose to use light vehicles to cover large distances in the national park and see its geographical landmarks. The Singing Dune is located between two low mountain ranges, the Big and Small Kalkans. It was formed out of the particles brought in by the sands from the Ili River banks. This large sand dune is 3 kilometers long and rises 150 meters above the valley level. 
Many people call this dune a big sandbox, as it keeps its shape because of the wind pattern. The wind blows eastward along the Ili River and westward along the mountains. Therefore, the dune that appeared in the corridor between the Jungaralata ridges does not migrate, but stays in one place. Scientists are lost regarding the origins of the sand dune, which is unusual for this rocky and steppe land. The phenomenal aspect of the dune is that in the dry and windy weather, myriads of sand particles rub against each other and the mountain makes loud noise, which is how it got its name. In 1962, a physicist from Leningrad, Arabaji, conducted several observations here and came to the conclusion that it is the sand that makes the noise. And the more the sand mass is moving, the louder the noise. One hundred kilometers from the eco post to the dune is now behind us. Now a trip to the Aktau mountain awaits. It is a magic place with truly moonlike landscape, and when you get there, it is hard to believe that these mountains, as if painted by the brush of a surrealist painter, are still here, not far from the roads and a city with a population of one and a half million. The tradition is to stop by a spring in the local oasis, the Asiatic poplar growth. Asiatic poplar is a rare kind of poplar found in the semi-deserts of Central Asia, Kazakhstan and South America. The relic poplar survived the Ice Age, and these trees have a medium height and a curved trunk with a rather thin canopy. There is also the diversifolious Asiatic poplar, and it's really amazing to see the branches of the same tree having leaves of different shapes. The stream itself beats from under the ground of a local oasis, which was named by Kazakh scientist and educator Chukhan Walehanov, who in the 19th century traveled past the Ili River by the decree of the Minister of Foreign Affairs with the task of fixing the broken off trade relations between Russia and China. On the road to Kulja, Lieutenant Walehanov visited the forts Verne and Altanyemel. Traditionally, people worship the stream as a source of sacred water that has powers to cure many illnesses. Along the road that was laid by a grader, you can get through the Saksaul bushes to the Katutau Mountains. This is a provisional station between the Singing Dune and the Aktau Mountains. Geologists call this place the Kazakh Hiliki area. Once it was the bottom of the Tetis Sea. It bordered the Pacific Ocean in the east and the Atlantic in the west. In the Mesozoic period, the sea was between two continents, Gondwana and Laurasia. Its relics are the modern Mediterranean, Black and Caspian Seas. On the current territory of the National Park Altenemel, the volcanoes did a great job of spewing out lava and creating masses of different forms. The volcanic mountains of the Permian period are made out of lava, tuff, rhyolite, andesite, dacite, diabase and basalt. The western part of the Katutau Mountains has paleovolcanoes. The Katutau Mountains are one of the ridges of the southern slope of the Jungara Alatau. They are poorly studied and make a promising site for scientific tourism. The Katutau Ridge spans from southwest to northeast in the form of a narrow, steeply sloping and hilly ridge with plateau-like tops. Their slopes are split by multiple dry gorges and serpentine cuts. Threads of red clay and blue limestone sands of the tertiary period are drawn in in layers. These low mountains do not reach the snow line, and therefore they don't have permanent glaciers. They commonly have deep gorges, steep rocky slopes with cliffs and rock slides. According to expert studies, the parent rocks are represented by lowest soils, pebbly and gypsum tertiary sediments. The much taller mountains of Alpenemel, reaching 2,928 meters, and Koyadun Pao, with 3,459 meters in height, are separated by the large Toksan Bay Ridge from the main part of the Jungara Latau, with their southern part facing the Konorolen Depression. Researchers of subsoil minerals usually find uranium deposits in such places. Geologists claim that the most common form of magma channels in these mountains were elongated trenches with large lava canopies appearing along with them. There were silent periods after large eruptions of volcanic masses, sending out tons of detrital rocks. The bomb ash and lava flows and overlying rocks of different capacities mixed with each other, reaching areas of 100 meters. The southeast foothills of the Katatau have tiger highlands, 
which were named so because of the colors of the upper Pliocene clays that these mountains are comprised of. The highlands have been elevating over the past two million years. The highest peak of Katotau reaches 1,720 meters. Katotau means harsh mountains. However, today the harshness of these ancient eroded mountains with remaining volcanic outflows is in their dryness. The rocks are very fragile here and fall apart in case of any impact. Time, the greatest sculpture of nature, has carved out the most fantastic figures and there is also sedimentary rock that used to be the bottom of the most ancient ocean, Tetis, which takes on amazing shapes under the influence of wind and water and comes together into amazing landscapes. The Aktau Mountains are a real open space museum. When you walk around them, you feel as if you've been transported back into the prehistoric ages, the times when dinosaurs roamed this land. If 15 million years ago this place used to be a giant lake sea, then today what remains is just whitened layers of sedimentary rock. Time and nature transform the shapes and colors, turning them into yellowish, grayish blue, purple and reddish melted canopy-like peaks that look like the lower part of accordion bellows. Sometimes those who are lucky find here fossilized bones of dinosaurs and ancient mammals. Aktau is the world's famous and unique paleontological deposit field and the layers of the Paleogene lake deposits preserve the fossils of ancient animals. Crocodiles, turtles, rhinoceroses, the age of which is estimated as 25 to 30 million years. Scientists also found here 56 kinds of early Miocene flora. Some of the peaks of Aktau, which translate from Kazakh as White Mountains, have something like a crown made of gypsum and stone below which the slope gets low and descends in soft lines down to its foundation. A similar landscape in Kazakhstan can be found on the Mangoshlak Peninsula, which is also the bottom of the ancient sea Tetis. But let us get back to the Aktau Mountains. The mountain massif is the most picturesque landscape of the rarest of beauties and is rightfully considered as a protected landscape area. Besides, Aktau bears special importance as a paleobotanic area with accumulation of fossilized early Miocene flora. According to scientists, the mountain sediments are 60 to 70 million years old and are a mysterious and unique creation of nature. When you move through the narrow gorges that were formed by stormwater, you get a feeling like you're in a different time, and it seems like a monster might appear from just around the corner. The space is permeated by history, myths and legends of dragons, stories of powerful rulers and beautiful princesses. Moreover, nearby is a grand burial mount Bes Shatur, a large burial complex, the necropolis of the Saka nomadic elite of the 8th to 3rd centuries BCs, where ancient kings and leaders of large tribes found their peace. Here, high above the Aktau mountains, it is total silence, interrupted at times only by the hallowing winds and cries of birds flying by. The National Park Altanemel was established in 1996. The total protected area of the park, including the buffer zone, is over 520,000 hectares. The park's territory includes mountainous, sandy desert and gravel clay desert landscape complexes. The flora consists of up to 1,800 kinds of plants, with 21 included in the Red Book of Kazakhstan. Around 60 kinds are endemic and rare types of the Jungaralatau and the Ilibalhash Basin. Of all the animals living in the park, 56 kinds are included into the Red Book of Kazakhstan, including 25 types of insects, 3 types of fish, 2 types of amphibian, 1 reptile species, 12 kinds of birds, 10 kinds of animals, including the mountain sheep, Kulan and the Persian Gazelle. Photographers consider Altanemel to be the most valuable protected area in Central Asia. The masters of photographic landscapes come here during different times of the year, and the pictures of the Singing Dune, the Katotau and the Aktau Mountains, and rare animals have been spread all across the world. This is the way the world gets to know more and more about Kazakhstan, attracting more tourists who want to come to visit these pristine lands. And for Kazakhstan's travelers, Altenemel is a quite accessible place where one can find out more about the history of planet Earth.